Hello and happy Memorial Day, my friends. Welcome to all my new and returning subscribers to my Southern Kitchen and the 370 episode here on Ellen's Homemade Delights. I'm Ellen. Hope all you're doing well and staying safe and healthy. Today's recipe, I'm going to share with all of you a Southern classic. We're going to make fresh fried corn. And my friends, it is the bomb.com. It's going to be so delicious. And as always, it is so simple and easy to make. Great to serve for your barbecue cookouts and fish fries coming up. Just in time for the summer. Also makes a great side dish for any weeknight. Y'all going to enjoy this. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my side dish recipes playlist and my previous video, Southern Baked Beans. I'll post the link to both of those down below in the description box. So grab your corn on the cob, your butter, and your bacon grease sugar, because we're about to fry some fried corn magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, the first step we're gonna do is prep the corn. In total, I'm using 12 corn on the cobs. And over here in this bowl, I cut up 11. So now I'm gonna cut up the last one. And that's beautiful corn. And I washed it. Be careful not to cut your fingers. Just gonna cut it all the way down like so. Just like that, and just put them in the bowl. All right, my friends, into our corn niblets. We're going to add in two cups of water, two cups of evaporated milk. Oh, yes. Two tablespoons of self-rising flour, two tablespoons of white sugar, and my seasonings. Two and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of white pepper, or you can use black, and a pinch of cayenne pepper, which is the eighth of a teaspoon to give it a little kick. And we're going to give all this a quick stir until it's well incorporated. All right, my friends, I'm through stirring up the corn. And this is the part right here where you taste to see if it needs any more seasoning and white sugar. Depends on how sweet the corn is. My corn has the right amount of seasoning. Now we're ready to fry it. I got my fire over medium high heat. And I'm heating up three tablespoons of bacon grease and two tablespoons of butter. Oh, yes. Anything with bacon or bacon grease is going to be amazing. About to get down. All right, now it's time to add in the corn. And be very careful. Yeah, you hear that sizzle? Gonna give it a quick stir. All right, all we do now is cut the fire down to medium and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Uncovered. All right, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, there you have it. Southern fresh fried corn. Mmm, it smells amazing up in this kitchen. And look at the sauce, nice and thick. Mmm. Can't wait to dig in. All right, that looks great. 
So now I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes and then I put it in the bowl and I'll give it a taste. All right, now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Sweet and tender, full of flavor. Ain't nothing like fried corn. This is spectacular, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. Y'all gonna love it, love it, love it. Down home country goodness. Fried corn licious. My friends, many thanks so much for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. And also, hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love. Stay safe. And I wish all of you a happy and safe Memorial Day. Thank you to all the soldiers who served our country. We salute you.